Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I apologize, I know it's been a long time since I posted anything. I hadn't felt good, been sick. The whole family's been sick. Uh, I am first would like to say hello to my new subscribers that I've gotten here over the last month or so. I, again, I apologize for not putting out any content. Uh, but trying to get caught up on that i've got mail call that i've had that i have i've got to get done which that will be in the next video i've got wood to split i've got wood to buck up i've got a wheel horse lawnmower over here that i've not used because it's leaking the oil seal and that's what today's video is going to be i'm going to start working on this wheel horse because i've needed it uh, I am just so far behind on everything. And as you can tell, my garage is looks like a nightmare. So let's get on and with this wheel horse, 700 workhorse, and see what I can do about getting this rear axle seal replaced today on it. All right? Come on along. Let's see what we can do. I guess if there's a bright side to uh, this leaking, the huh, this is loose. So all I gotta do is break loose a bolt back here and slide this off. All right, seven sixteenths. That wasn't bad. It might not be as easy as I thought. It can't be no harder, no worse than them David Bradley hubs. <laughs> but then again, Never say never. All right. I'll bring you back. All right. One thing I've learned. Never say it can't be as hard as the other. It's off. So. Gear puller. All right, folks. Whoever said these was easy to get out, lied. Can't even find the tools I was using now. So that's a little oil seal. There it is. They say Napa sells some. They've already cross traversed. That's the rubber seal right there. And there's the metal part right there. Rubber seal. Metal part. It's not a big seal whatsoever. But that's how it comes out. I had to tap on it with a flat tip screwdriver. I had it right here. I had to get in there without trying to scar the axle up. And it sits right in there. All right. It's off to Napa. All right, everybody, all jokes aside, this this hub was not hard to get off. The reason I had to use that puller is you see this circle right here? It's got a little lip on it up here from where that 
bolt runs down on top of that keyway. And I'm gonna have to take a little file and file that piece off a little bit to smooth it up. That way it won't be so hard to go back on and that. And I'll tell you why that bolt, why that circle's there. <clears throat> when this hub goes on, that bolt that I took out, that bolt with a lock nut sits down in that keyway right there. It's hard to tell. Let me see. Let me get some light real quick. All right, let me try doing this without blinding everybody. See that hole right there? That hole lines up on that keyway slot and that bolt screws down in there on top of that keyway and holds it in place. Then what you do, this is the bolt. You screw it down in there till it bottoms out on that keyway. Like that. And then you run this nut down onto the hub to lock it in place so it won't move. So that is why that has that little indention in it right there. So I'm gonna take a file and clean that off real quick. All right, everybody. This is the old seal. This is the new seal. The new seal measurements are one inch inner diameter, 1.2 inches outer diameter. So this is the part number straight from Napa. So let's see if I can put a little grease on this and try to work this on real quick. Just a little bit to help get it going and to get past all this. I don't want to tear this new seal up. Y'all bear with me. I put a little bit on the seal too. Well. Let me get something to tap that seal down in there with. Let's try to take this punch because I don't have anything that will go around that axe. I'm trying to get my big butt situated. something that will go around it. Let me see. Want to rock in and out on me. I don't think I can hold it. I need to try to find a piece of PVC pipe or something maybe to go around this shaft where it'll fit up on there. Hang on a minute. Okay, folks, I don't know how this is going to work, but 25 millimeter sock uh, wrench fits right up on there like that. I'm going to take this other deeper socket, put it up on there like that, try to hold it. Tap it in. I don't know if that's going to. I don't know. It might be working. Hang on a minute. I just had my punch right here. I need 
needs to go in a little bit further. Let me find my punch. All right, I got my punch. Try to work it around to where it's smooth. Seed it all the way in. That's some redneck stuff right there with, with a wrench. But I swear, I can't feel it. Feels like it's seated all the way. Sorry about that. I think that's about the best I'm gonna get it. It's smooth all the way around. All right, hopefully that'll work. All right, let's clean out this little groove right here. I sure hope the wife doesn't go missing that toothbrush. Cause she's gonna be awful disappointed when she finds out it was cleaning a wheel horse part. And you know, something just dawned on me and I'm gonna try it before I put it all back together. No, that's not to go hide from the wife either. But uh, I'll show y'all in a minute. You know what I was wondering? I'm looking for something to might push this in with. I didn't think about it, but I bet you could have, I don't know if you cleaned it up a little bit right in here a little bit more. You could probably have pushed this on backwards or pushed it on normal and uh, tapped it and seeded that seal with with the hub. I don't know. It's uh, being a little ornery, but I was one, I just sitting here cleaning it, thinking about that probably could I don't see why not let's put a little grease on it let's see if this is going to go back up on here see this I promise you all right I figured y'all probably did want to watch this <laughs> BMF block of wood That's why I was telling you about this screw right here. Let me try to move the camera. This screw goes right down in here. Like so. All right, that bottomed out. Now take a 9 16 and lock that 
lock that in to where it won't back out. And that is the amount of play that's supposed to be in that axle because this axle is held in with a roll pin. So that seal's there. Like I said, I don't I believe you could tap that seal in with this hub. I didn't even think about that. So let me wipe this down, clean this up a little bit, and get the uh, tire put back on her. Okay, I'm gonna, I went ahead and decided to change the uh, transmission or the transaxle oil. I know pulled this tire off and I noticed this seal is leaking back here. So I'm gonna end up having to take this off the uh, brake. I'm gonna have to take all this off and figure out how to change this seal behind this shaft. And that's on another upcoming video. But right now I just wanted to put some Teflon tape around the bottom drain plug. I don't know, I, I just like putting tape on it like that. Okay, I guess I got some more gear oil. I put that uh, Teflon tape on that drain plug. Famous last words, what can that hurt? But it's like anything else when you're working on it. You're one bolt turn away from a 10 minute job turning into an eight hour job. And I'm glad I went ahead and drained this gear oil out of here because it was brown. It wasn't black, it was brown. It was nasty. Okay, I'll bring y'all back whenever I get done. All right. You can see the oil down in the fill plug. And uh, I'm probably going to run this a while. Then I'm going to drain it back out and re and change it again. Because this oil was, this uh, gear oil was very nasty. All right. Hi, everybody. I don't see any leaks from the new oil seal. Uh, that oil seal there still seems to be doing okay. Like I said, I've got another one for that one. Uh, don't see no leaks from where I changed the transaxle. That's from, that liquid right there is from where I greased the uh, cable for the, for the hitch. All right. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for uh, changing out the uh, seal, the axle seal on the wheel horse. Uh, these people up here at Napa, where I live at, auto parts, and people are wonderful to deal with. This is the part number for that axle seal. They are $6.99 a piece. So... And uh, if you know your dimensions, the, ins the inside diameter and the outside diameter, uh, they'll even, they'll start looking up for you. But I had seen this part number on a uh, wheel horse form and uh, for a one inch axle, and then they make a inch and an eighth axle. And it had another part number for it. But uh, like I say, Napa hooked me up it took, I had to wait one day to get them, ordered them yesterday, they came in today. So yes, this video was shot over two days. So uh, I appreciate all y'all coming along. Like I say, uh, with that uh, rear end uh, transaxle oil, 90 weight, ADW90, I'm going to uh, run that for a little bit and let it get some of the clean get the clean oil run through all that and then i will probably drain that back out and put all new in again it didn't even take a quart 
So, uh, and I mean, eight ninety nine for a quart of oil is a lot cheaper than a, a transaxle, especially for a seven hundred like I've got. So, uh, I appreciate y'all coming along. If you stuck with me this long, and that. And uh, don't forget, aim high, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.